Welcome to another very exciting five minutes of hang. So I've played this guy earlier in the session. Let's try and just play this solid thing actually. Can I fare better against them playing trying to play a bit more solidly in the opening? <clears throat> Concerned what I'm doing exactly. Okay, maybe I can play for e5 here. Just hold this the dark squares a bit. D5 is taken care of, so can I maneuver a knight to d4? Knight c5 to e6 to d4. Okay, I think this opening is looking okay. Tempo. I wriggle the bishop here as well. Hopefully, create some weaknesses on road. Good so far. Are you looking at for B five? Is that pushing things? Now he's played that. I wonder H four. I think B five. I don't know. You can seize that C file at some point. Ah. Can I go into D4 like previously mentioned? So B4, what about knight E6 to D4? Do I take that pawn first? So I'm going to go into D4 here. Yeah, I get B4 after if he wants to take on D4. Also, it's opening out this G3 anyway. Maybe more significant is G3 here. <clears throat> B6 is just trying to undermine him. Oh, he's got 95. Is he going to play that? Oh, he's going to play ninety five in the ouch. <clears throat> Great. Can I get his bishop with knight B five? Take and take on f6. Maybe there's bishop g7 there. If I take on c3 here, it takes on f8. Is that knight trout? So maybe I play knight v5. Six. I've got to check here, unfortunately. Uh, 
there's a bit of pressure, but okay. I think King H7 first. Oh, right. Can I play King H7 usefully? I'll take on. <clears throat> G3 here. Uh. Alright, some dark squares. There's Queen F4. With tempo. Can I take on f3 here, there's bishop g2, then take on g3, because the king h2, rook d2, so I'm driving his bishop back, because otherwise he's got bishop e6. Check. Check. Right. Um, Queen's off. I've got knight e4 after. So. Who cares? Let me take Check. the queens off. Check. <clears throat> get my rook behind this pawn. Try and use my g pawn and get my. King and rook on the seventh. Uh, it doesn't look that bad. If I can get my rook behind this pawn and on the seventh, I'm already threatening knight f2 now. Alright, so let's check. 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 Whoops. <clears throat> I screwed this up again. Check. I have all my Oh sad, sad, sad. State of affairs. Oh dear. Lost him again in the same session, I'm afraid. It was a great position to screw up. I, I don't know, I keep screwing up. I don't know, no, I, I really did screw this one up, I think. Check. Ah. Oh boy. Sad, I don't know. Check. He's just tied me down. There's totally so many opportunities. King of fate. Let's have a look anyway. I don't like losing to someone in the same session more than once. Um, I mean, this position looks pretty good. Until here, I didn't like it. Yeah, I thought I was in trouble now. I thought I came back a bit. Check. Here was interesting. 
Okay, now what happens if I go King F8, just for the record? It's still dangerous, isn't it? Because I can't ever move my rook. And probably the F file is dangerous there, isn't it? Check. So it's not that easy with a king on F8. Check. I thought this was okay for me. Um, Check. I have to do what I said, put the rook behind the pawn. Simple as that. I, I don't know why I'm indulging tactically instead. I've, I've got to put the rook behind the pawn. Yeah, slap in the face. Rooks go behind pawns in end games. That's a cliche for a reason, I think. Cliches, they have them for reasons. Rooks behind pawns. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Because now I'm dead virtually after that. I, I don't know. It looks as though I've lost immediately. So, from that point of view, it's instructive. It's uh, I had to put the rook behind the pawn. Sad. Probably instructive. Thanks very much.